Welcome back to another Java tutorial. And today we're going to be writing a program that asks the user to enter a number. And then whatever number the user enters, we're going to store in a variable. And then we're going to print out number doubled is. And then we're going to double the number they enter. We're now, I'm in like in a blank like Java class. I have one method, which is going to be the main method, which we're going to write, we're going to write all our code in there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to need a scanner to get user input. So we can say scanner, SCNR, should be short for scanner. You can name it whatever, equals new scanner. And in there, we're going to write system.in. And now we're going to be getting an error, which is good, because we need to import the Java util.scanner. So we need to import that so the scanner object actually works. Now that we have a scanner, we can actually start printing everything out. So I'm, I'm going to eclipse, so sys out is short for system.out or print line. We just use this to like print to the console. And there we could, we could say enter a number. And then we can leave a little space so the user can enter the number. So it's not like all clumped up together. And now we need an integer variable because we're going to enter a number. It's not going to be like a string. It's going to be like an int. We could do int num. Okay, now we have an integer variable named num. We just have to ask the user to get user input to like put a number into it. So we could do that with the scanner object we made earlier. Scanner dot next. And if you can see, all these like suggestions are popping up. But we want to do dot next int. So this line of code, it does two things. It's making a variable named num of type integer, and then it's asking the user, hey, a user, put a number into it, put a number to your keyboard so we can store it inside of num. Okay. Now we have everything, we can just start printing it out. So let's do another print statement. And in the print statement, we can enter the we could say a number doubled. Like what it would be up here, number doubled. And then we'll leave a space because we want like uh, we don't want the number to be clumped up together. And then we're gonna do a plus so we can print something else. We want the number to be doubled, so we named our number. Or we named our number uh, num, and we could just do a little star, which means times two. And if we run this, enter a number, 100. Number doubled is 200. One more time, 225. Number doubled is 50. And that's it. And if this guy, if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe.